We are in the midst of an unprecedented battle of ideas in our nation. Now, when you're in a battle, it's important that you understand your enemy, right? What do we do uh, in, in ball games? What do coaches do when they are trying to win against their opponent? Do they study game tape? Oh, yes. They study game tape. They watch game tape, and they make sure they know the opponent's tactics. And I have learned that the push for big government, sexualization of our children, erosion of parental rights, abortion on demand, these agendas are not accidental, guys. And it's not even a natural progression of living in a more enlightened society. No, this is an intentional Marxist takeover of our nation. I know this because I've been studying game tape. And I want to share a little bit of that game tape with you here today. If you've read the book, The Naked Communist, by Cleon Skousen, who was a former FBI agent, you will have read about 45 communistic goals that were read into our congressional record in 1963 as a warning to our nation that we better wake up, open our eyes, and push back against the Marxist takeover that is about to come to our nation. 1963, folks, this was read into congressional record. Did we listen? I'm going to read maybe seven of these 45 goals that Skousen outlined for us. This is a book that has been praised by the likes of Ronald Reagan, okay, Ben Carson. Goal number 17, he said, that was coming. This is in 1963, so I want you to get your mind back in 1963 and think about how far we've come. Get control of the schools. Use them as transmission belts for socialism and current communistic propaganda. Goal number 19, use student riots to foment public protests against programs or organizations which are under communist attack. Antifa, anyone? Black Lives Matter? Goal number 20, he wrote about, infiltrate the press. Wow. <laughs> Need I say more? Goal number 24, eliminate all laws governing obscenity by calling them censorship and a violation of free speech and free press. Goal 25, break down cultural standards of morality by promoting pornography. This is in 1963, guys. By promoting pornography, obscenity in books, magazines, motion pictures, radio, and TV. Goal number 26, Long before the legalization of gay marriage, we were warned that the communists would present homosexuality, degeneracy, and promiscuity as, quote, normal, natural, and healthy. Goal 27, infiltrate the churches and replace revealed religion with social religion. 28, eliminate prayer of any phase or any phase of religious expression in the schools on the ground that it violates the principle of separation of church and state, which is a lie, we all know. 29, discredit the American Constitution by calling it inadequate, old-fashioned, and out of step with modern needs. How much have we heard that, that the Constitution is antiquated? Goal 30, discredit the American founding fathers. Present them as selfish aristocrats who had no concern for the common man. Oh, even though they laid down their lives and their fortune and their sacred honor, they had no concern for the common man, right? Number 40, discredit the family. And this one makes me want to weep. Discredit the family as an institution. Encourage promiscuity and easy divorce. I have made it one of my missions with this platform that God has given me to convince Americans that this takeover is intentional because when you know your enemy, you are better prepared to defeat your enemy. Listen, if mere humans are doing all of this and accomplishing all of this through the use of evil ideas and tenacious commitment, 
then what can we accomplish as mere humans with the God of heaven on our side through good ideas and tenacious commitment? I am not a fatalist. I am not going to concede my country to the Marxist left. And too many of us as God-fearing Christians have been sitting on our hands waiting for Jesus to come back and rescue us from, us from this all. And it has caused us to be fatalists. It has caused us to say, oh, this is prophesied. This is going to happen. Read the book of Revelation. We win in the end. So we're just going to keep sitting on our hands and listen to pretty flowery sermons. No. I'm not a fatalist. Jesus did not say, hide and hunker down until I come. He said, occupy till I come. Yeah.